other than the new axles, pretty much everything else should be very uh, similar or the same as the already existing CFXW chassis. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Revolution XRC. Today we are going to unbox the MST CFX WS. Now as you can see from the box, the MST CFX WS is a uh, Land Rover Discovery type rig. Now the CFX WS isn't exactly a brand new platform. It's based off of their existing CFX W platform. And really the main difference is that this particular kit comes with the new SA25 axles and I'll show you what that is in just a second. Other than the new axles, pretty much everything else should be very uh, similar or the same as the already existing CFXW chassis. So let's just take a good look at the packaging before we move on. Here we've got the front of the box. You can see the CFXWS is a vehicle similar to a Land Rover Discovery. It even says Discovery on the snorkel right there. And I think that might be a Land Rover decal there. Anyway, it's a 313mm wheelbase rig. So same as the CFXW. It's got some features listed out in the front. And this is what we're interested in, the SA25 axles, or at least that's what I'm interested in. Um, it does come with the TC70 aluminum shocks though. The original CFXW kit came with their plastic shocks. So that's a nice kind of change. Anyway, let's take a look at the top of the box. All right, here we can see some of the features. Um, it comes with CVAs and the other CFXW did it as well, but the original CFXW came with portal axles. So it's a little bit different, but you'll notice that these are straight axles and that's what the SA25 axles are all about. They're the new uh, straight axles for the MST CFXW rigs. Uh, this is pretty much the same as the previous rig. It's a metal transmission, planetary gearbox, uh, C-channel rails, same exact rails as the other one, and this is the, the new one, the new new feature of this CFXWS that I'm interested in, which is the SA25 single-piece axles. Uh, look really scale. Um, I'll be curious to see how it works out. Here you see the TC70 aluminum shocks, which is a nice upgrade over the previous kits that came with the plastic ones. Four link suspension, uh, just going over the motor position and the steering angle. And here is the wheel and tire combo that comes with this kit. Give you a closer look at that. Right there. And it comes with a full set of ball bearings. So just a few looks at each one of those features. Alright, so let's go look at the bottom panel. And basically like the previous CFXW, it just goes over things like break, break over angle, ground clearance, approach angle, departure angle. So you can see that it's 224 millimeters wide uh, from wheel to wheel or tire to tire. It says it's got a front approach angle of 50 degrees, departure angle of 50 degrees, breakover angle 48 degrees, uh, 65 millimeters of ground clearance in the middle. But other than that, uh, this is a kit so it does not come with the motor ESC and here they've got their MST branded uh, motor and ESC options. The XP60 looks like a Hobby Wing 1080, uh, 1060. Um, so. 
Okay, let's go take a look at the side of the box. Alright, nothing much to see here. Just a picture of the rig. I'm sure the other side is just the same. Oh, it's just a picture of the chassis. And let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. Now before we take a look at what's inside, let's take a look at the CFXW. Uh, this is actually my second crawler. Got it out of the way for a second. Alright, so the CFXW was my second crawler. And this actually came out without a body. This is when CFXWs were just a chassis kit before they came out with a nice JP1 body and the uh, the other FJ45 body, I think it is. Um, previously, the CFXWs just came as chassis only with no bodies. And that's when I picked this up, when it was a kit. It was originally released in 2017, I think. It was one of the first... Uh, trail trucks with the portal axles. It actually beat the TRX-4 by a couple months or half a year somewhere on there. But it, yeah, it beat the TRX-4 out to the market by like, yeah, just a little bit. But I haven't run it too much. Um, I actually should run it more. Uh, there's just been a few things I want to change on it and I've been putting it off. But uh, pretty much what you see here is very very similar to what you're going to see in this CFXWS except for the axles. The axles will be different. Anyway, let's go ahead and unbox the CFXWS. Alright, back on the table. I've already cut the seals. Go ahead and open it up and take a look at what's inside. All right, right off the bat, we see here four tires, very, very thin tires, so very much going for the scale look. You can see how thin those are. Let um, me see if I've got some tires here. So for you to compare with. These are tires off of the RC4WD Marlin. And you can see how thin these are compared to the Marlin tires. So really, really going for the scale look. Put that aside. Here are the wheels and foams. So interesting thing here, the foams are star cut. Um, we'll see how that turns out. I mean, it is using really thin tires, so I don't know if we'll need dual stage or not, but we'll have to test this out. The wheels seem to be glue on, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, I really like having bead locks. These apparently are not bead locks. All right, the next thing we have is everything packaged together in one bag, apparently. Right. So let's not take the body out yet. Maybe do that. All right, before I look at the, that bag, in here we've got the chassis rails. Decals, instructions, DC1 body instructions, decals, and masks. All right. So, 
over here. Now, if you haven't seen my build series on the original CFXW, you'll notice that they label their bags really well. So you will see nice labeling on each of their parts bags. So this is pretty much all of their parts. You can see the diff gear right there, the sliders, this is, uh, the diff cover for the axles, some of the braces. Kind of give you a quick look at some of that stuff. There. See how these, all the bags are labeled with all the parts that you need for that specific step in one bag. So here you'll see there's the bearings together with the, with the diff gear and the axles that are probably needed for that particular step. So everything is packaged together for that particular step, if I remember correctly. And that's what I really liked about the build process for the MST rig, is that everything was packaged together for a particular step. So see that? Like, they don't just stick both diff gears together. They separate it into, this one's going to be the front, I think. Yep, with the CVDs. Yep, this one's going to be the front. This is going to be the rear. This is the uh, transmission. These are the drive shafts right here. So this is a, the diff cover and the front and rear mounts. Sliders. Skid. Uh, what else do we have here? Skid, wheel hex, shock towers, battery tray. These are the axles. The new axles, the SA25 axles, and this is really what I wanted to see in this rig. Um, it's got a nice design, a really cool scale looking design. Uh, I'll be curious to see if I can use it in anything else, but this is what I'm mainly interested in for this rig. Okay. More parts bags, tools. So you've got an assortment of tools that come with this rig. There's a shock oil. Probably won't use that. It looks a little light. The grease. It's got a wrench. It's got the uh, driver right there. It does come with a pinion. The original CFXW chassis kit did not come with a pinion, to be, uh, believe it or not. Uh, these are rod ends for the links. So that means you've got the links here and you've got the planetary gears here, body posts, and what I believe are going to be the shocks in there. I see the shock shafts right there. So uh, let's give you a closer look at that as well. Once again, these are part of the transmission. Shock springs, shock bodies, shock parts, gears, body posts, links and assorted link parts, rod ends, and your tool bag.
All right. This comes with inner fenders. Very, very nice addition. Not often a rig comes with inner fenders, or at least a kit, um, but this kit comes with inner fenders, which is really cool. And they're already painted black, so you don't have to do so. Very awesome. I really like that. Here we got the bumpers and scale details for the body, light buckets, all that stuff. And last but not least, we've got the Land Rover Discovery type body, which is going to make for a really nice scale rig. Um, kind of dig this look a lot. I dig this body. And I can't wait to get st started on this build. So that's it for the unboxing of this MST CFXWS. I'm excited to get started on this build. I'm going to be doing a build series on it, so stay tuned for that. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future updates on this MST CFXWS. And stay tuned for that build series. Thanks for watching.